Okay guys, we are back again. Alright, um, what we're going to do in this video, um, we gonna, I'm going to show you how to change your background. Um, I'm going to just do the basic for now. Uh, I'll show you the more advanced ones in the later series where you can really customize your graphics and do anything. Right now I'm going to do something similar to this. I'm gonna, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of the backgrounds and import your own custom uh, header. All right. So the first I'm going to let's focus on just changing the background and I'm going to show you how easy this is. All right. In your ePanel, uh, which is basically under your appearance under theme options, you're going to go to under general settings. We're going to just focus in general settings right now. We won't do the logo right now. We want to just change the background. Um the background right now is set at default. So for color scheme, let's just go and we're going to make it white. All right. And the, we'll just go all the way down here and always hit save. All right. If you're not sure about any of these questions, the nice thing is a little tag. You can open it up. It gives you the information with a link to finding out more about how that works. And but in this whole series, I'm going to show you how it's done. All right. Let's go back to the thing and refresh. And let's see. It should be white now. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> there we go. So now we've got white. Uh, very plain in that, but we'll spruce this up pretty quickly. All right, the next thing now is that we're going to change this to a custom header. All right, I have already pre made mine, I'll show you guys in later videos on how to make it yourself. Um, the one th and about the correct sizes and how to do one with the transparency, but um, the majority of these are the height is around 200 to 300 pixels. It's around about 980 wide, so I've already pre-made my image in Photoshop. So let's go over. The first thing you want to do, because um, it's ask if you go here, it's going to tell you, use the upload image. Okay, basically what it's saying, copy, paste the image of the URL for the logo text box. All right, now how do you get a URL? It's very easy. What you want to do is go over to media. Uh, we'll just click on media. Media is going to cover, hold all your images, your videos, etc. All right. The first thing we want to do is add a new image. Um, I know where mine is. I'm going to select it. It's in. I made it down here. I called it. Uh, I just created it a few seconds ago. Okay. There we go. What's it? Uh, my. I'm just actually sorry about it. I'm trying to remember what I called it. There we go. The easy. Okay. Logo. I saved it as a PNG file. Let it up. There it is. Let it upload. And there's the image. Okay. What I'm looking for, which it's just asked me for, is the file URL. And that's what I'm going to copy. I'm going to take that image. I'm going to copy it. And I will go back to the actual over here. Paste it into here. There it is. And I'm going to come down, save it. All right, let's go back over to the page right now and let's refresh. Let's see, there we go. Sorry, guys, I'm not an artist. I just made it just generic and uh, was just playing around with it. So there you go. So it's already looking a little bit better. You know, we've got a, a nice, we've got our plain background. We've got the the logo, and you know, we can add images, a picture of yourself, whatever you want. All right. Okay. So in the next one, we'll go through the other functions like Favicore and uh, social media, how to input all these different other functions and that. So we'll do that in the next in the next video. See you now.